in any market, including the drone market, there's usually a sweet spot where there's a product position that is of acceptable quality and has enough features that give you the best value for your money. And right now, in my opinion, if you're interested in using a drone for aerial photos and video, then the DJI Phantom 3 Professional is the best option. For about $1,300, uh, you get a ready-to-fly aircraft with 4K camera and long-range built-in video downlink. It's really hard to beat this package. Currently, there just isn't anything on the market in this price range that's quite as good. The Phantom 3 controller connects to your mobile device via USB cable, and installing and running the DJI app on your mobile device allows you to control and monitor all the vital systems and features of the aircraft. You can see the altitude, the speed, battery life, all in real time, as well as control camera settings and stop and start recording or take a picture. Probably the biggest competitor at the moment to the DJI Phantom 3 would be from a company called 3D Robotics. And they make an aircraft called the Solo. I don't have any personal experience with the Solo, but it looks to have some pretty great features and is quite comparable to the Phantom 3. The biggest difference between the two is that it doesn't come with a camera. The Solo is designed to be used with a GoPro camera. So the base Solo model with a gimbal costs about $1399. And then you still have to buy a GoPro for $400 or $500 more. The Solo has some very interesting abilities, such as a feature called Smart Shots. These are programmed flights that supposedly make it easier to capture shots like a selfie, a cable cam, orbit, or follow type shots. Now, DJI included some similar features in a firmware update. You can do things like orbit or follow. Uh, but in my opinion, it's just easier and more fun to execute these types of moves exactly how you want them manually. I'll be showing you some of those moves later on inside this course.